this week's Going Retro, we look at Road Rash, released in 1994 on the 3DO. It was developed by Electronic Arts and is a remake of the original, not an actual direct sequel. As you just saw, one of the changes is a lot of full motion video, or FMV. This was eventually ported to the PlayStation, Sega Saturn, and Microsoft Windows. If it's not apparent, all these locations are based in California. I'm assuming this is meant to simulate San Francisco, because I'm sure you could really do a road race through that town. As you can see here, I have the chain. I don't know how I didn't manage to actually get cleaned up by that car. But just like every version, you can beat up people with the chain, with clubs, various weapons. There's police, just like in the other version. But the AI in this game was a lot more aggressive. As you see them celebrate just there. Fun little fact was Ducati loaned a motorcycle to be used in promotional material for the game. During filming of some of the FMV, this bike was actually used by the producer Randy Breen, who laid down the bike during a scene to avoid crashing. That bike you'll actually see in some of these FMV cutscenes, which I've replaced the original music due to copyright. The Ducati, which I think was just hidden there, now is featured in the lobby of the EA Redwood Studios. During the crash, the bike featured a bunch of scuff marks and damaged or road rash, as EA calls it and couldn't be returned. There's two game modes, arcade mode called fresh mode. There's also a career mode. And these are the starting characters you can see here. They have various amounts of cash they start with, various bikes. The game has two locations, Ollie's Scooterama where you can buy new bikes, or as you can see here, the Panzer Club. Here you can schmooze or talk to the writers and they will give you various opinions. Apparently this changes throughout the game, although I never really saw that. Whether they hate you or they like you, depending on how you attack them in the game. A lot of the FMV and this is very, very cheesy. Main the game in big game mode is to Pick a rider, win races, gain cash, which will be depleted if you crash your bike because you have to repair the bike in order to progress through more levels and unlock the higher tiers which you can then use your money to buy bigger and faster bikes. The soundtrack was notable at the time featuring Soundgarden, Monster Magnet, Paul, Therapy, Hammerbox and Swerve Driver. As mentioned earlier the music has been replaced by me due to copyright. Overall, I love Road Rash. I always have loved Road Rash. I wasn't a big fan of number three, but I played a lot of one and a lot of two. I remember going in the stores seeing this version playing on TVs. It made me want a 3DO. This was the sole reason why I wanted one. And going back now, it definitely scratches that itch to play more Road Rash. That's going retro for this week. Tune in next week where we bring you more retro games.